my thoughts about Siberia were that, yeah, it's cold and there's not much to do. Far away from the rest of the world. Emptiness, nothingness, huge forest, you know. Well, I was expecting something cold and flat. 200 euros of warm clothes. That's what I thought about Siberia. it was all pretty wrong and uh, we definitely had some of the best times in Siberia like on every regard like party people shows were good too we arrived in Siberia in the early morning um, at the airport of Krasnoyarsk, which is the easternmost city that we're playing on this tour. And we had to take a night flight right after the gig in Yekaterinburg. We went to the airport and, um, yeah, it took a three or four hours flight through two different time zones. It's a bit hard to, to still know where you are and what time it is or what day of the week it is. I mean, it's, it's a normal tour jet lag, but here it's even worse because you're changing your t the time zone for basically each show. So by now we were like uh, Central European time plus seven or something like that. And um, then we had a day off uh, after arriving there because we didn't sleep all night. We had to take this flight and basically the first day we spent sleeping. We had another day off in the, the second day and uh, that day we went out to some local mountains, well I mean more like hills, but they had some skiing lifts there. Rick and me really wanted to get up on the slope and do some snowboarding, but unfortunately it was already too late. So instead of doing that, we just uh, went to the club where we were playing the, the following night. It's kind of cool to check what it is like, and uh, we were not expecting much, though the place we were looking was looking pretty cool. We just uh, arrived at the bar, had a few shots and suddenly everything started and everybody was dancing. The house offered us like shots of Jägermeister and then I was just like buying shots to everyone, girls around me, people from the band, whatever. And we ended up being so drunk. It was pretty intense. I guess it's maybe because we were sleeping so much before that that we had the fire. It ended up all in a big mess back to the apartment, people were not sleeping in the right beds and people were sleeping in the corridor and the place was a whole mess and yeah, that was a good Siberian start. The venues were like pretty good most of the time, I, I think everywhere. Just the Novosibirsk show was weird because we were planning, playing um, a mini disco club that was way too small for us. I mean, the stage was ridiculously small. It was maybe like three meters wide and like two meters high, so it didn't make sense at all. And uh, then they had like another elongation of the stage in front of it that was only like that high, so it was like, what's the point? They managed to put every single instrument and cabinet at the wrong place, so there was absolutely no space, so we had to rebuild the entire stage from scratch, basically. Moscow, St. Petersburg were amazing, but Krasnoyarsk and Tomsk were equally amazing. Yeah, we had a pretty fucked up show in Krasnoyarsk. Um, as I said, the venue was really good. It sounded really fat. Uh, the bands before were good. Some Mongolian black metal, super doomy music. That was really cool. So we wanted to play and give something to the audience. And uh, uh, because they were wide, we thought we should invite them on stage, which, it, which we do sometime when the audience really deserve it. People really enjoy the show. And um, people are good gets really crazy, especially with all the vodka they drink, I think. So I've 
everybody was on stage and then we were still talking and shaking hands, doing photographs, signing CDs and etc. And then, well, the boss of this club was just kicking us, kicking everybody out because they had the, a mask party afterwards. People come with mask or with like makeup or even with like paper bags on their head and maybe it's just a way to to get completely crazy but nobody can really see you is it I don't know I don't exactly know what was the meaning of that but it was fun we still had like four or five hours to kill which we you know like enjoyably killed in the club by joining the party and then it was time to take the train and again the train people are probably the worst people on earth there was this train conductor who was just being a asshole like he just didn't want to leave, let us on the train because he thought we were all drunk. It was five in the morning, we were drunk, but we were pretty quiet. I mean, it was about time to sleep and stuff. Johnny had to talk and uh, and negotiate for a while with him. He was just like, you be quiet, blah, blah, blah. But eventually, as usual, you know, we just went in the train. We had a good night's sleep and, uh, yeah, just spent the time basically doing nothing but looking out of the window, seeing this which has been going on for the past three and a half thousand miles, I think. before that on previous tours so nobody really knew what it was going to be like but it turned out being absolutely amazing. The sound was pretty good I think and it was another crazy Siberian crowd that just wanted, wanted it all, you know, it was amazing. support bands they invited us over to their place and since we didn't really have anything to do we were like yeah let's you know let's do it I remember because Robin got hurt during the show that night in Tomsk we've been stage diving all the time I like got thrown back on stage by the crowd and fell like with my knee onto a wedge and basically now I have a big fucking red hole in my knee <laughs> the guy we were like partying at he was like a surgeon and his girlfriend was a nurse so she like um, took care of Robin. I think people were really warm-hearted and just really genuinely nice and, and friendly and supportive. That was the first night and that's so far the only night we could like have a proper house party, not in a shitty house club, but like a house party with like cool people. We just uh, indulged in another crazy party. We drank like two or three bottles of vodka, I think. There was this Four. We drank four bottles of vodka. That's why I was feeling so bad the next morning.
know what to expect from Siberia and at first we were skeptical about whether we should really do it but in the end it turned out to be the best decision that we did it. People were really really cool, we had, you know, really good parties. It was fun to play in Siberia. 